problem with taking lots of medication is that it numbs, it numbs the symptoms and leaves, generally leaves the causes untouched. So when you take a lot of medication, whether, whether it is for mental illness or whatever it is, um, it numbs the causes, which the causes are unresolved traumatic experiences and survival emotions which need to be turned off, which need to be resolved and worked through. And then your immune system can come up and fight and defeat all that kind of <laughs> yuckiness that's in your life, all that illness and disease. Your body is totally capable of handling it. Your body and my body is the most amazing, miraculous creation. We are a community of 50 to 70 trillion cells that are working in complete hum harmony right now. While you are watching this video, you, your, your body is digesting food. It's, it's pulling nutrients from food. It's got white blood cells running around and knocking off uh, parasites and viruses and cancer cells and all, those yucky, all that yucky stuff. Your body is the most tremendous creation. So the only thing that can stop you healing is you. What happens is, is when you get stressed and you have a lot of unresol unresourceful survival emotions, traumatic experiences from your life that you haven't worked through, the thing is your unconscious mind doesn't know the difference between what is real and what is imaginary. So vividly imagine. So when you vividly go process traumatic and you know go over traumatic experiences in life and you think back to that person who hurt you, or think back to that car crash, or you think back to this painful event in your life, what happens is on an unconscious level your body perceives it's under threat. And what happens is it shuts down the immune system momentarily and sends all the blood to your arms and legs ready to fight, to run from a potential foe or to fight this potential foe. So what, what can happen is when you work through these survival emotions, these traumatic events, and bring them back to what I call stasis, which creates homeostasis in your body, when you neutralize them and associate into them and forgive and love and all that kind of good stuff, what can happen is your body bounces back, your immune system comes back online, comes back powerfully. This is in, this is in addition to a great diet, but a, a great diet is not necessary but it definitely does help, okay? That's why if you do the diet, but you don't do this, you're missing one of the par parts of the puzzle. But if you do this, you can get away with not having the good diet, but having a good diet is something you're naturally to do when you're just starting to feel happier because you want to take care of yourself and love yourself and do all that kind of stuff. So you do want to live and eat healthier foods and cut out all the junk. Where was I going? So this that's what it does. So your immune system comes back online, it immediately starts going in, hoeing into all that, that potential problem, yeah? So back to, let's, let's talking about medication numbing you. So when you take medication, what you're doing is you're treating the symptoms. So that's why they say, don't take this medication and drive, because what it does, it, it shuts down that part of your brain that may be creating that anxiety or that stress in you. And then what happens is, it, it just shuts down the whole brain. So you, you shouldn't be really be operating any machinery or, or driving a car because it's dangerous, because you're not in control. So that's what happens when you take too much medication. You're putting your control your welfare in, in the hands of a you know a third party and the thing with medication hey if you've been prescribed it and it's working for you by all means take it but if you're experiencing side effects and you're looking and you're hitting the hitting the wall and you're like stuck and you're like oh man I just I like the and some people are taking medication it's just especially for mental health issues and it's just it, the side effects is what hurts them yes it does deal with their potential issues but it takes them to that space of neutrality and they were like whoa I don't I don't feel anything anymore I don't feel good I don't feel bad I just feel whoa I feel like a zombie and and Again, it's dissociating from the potential causes. And yes, the mental health system has therapists and counselors and that, but the good ones are few and far between. And the good ones tend to move on and do their own practices and do that, that kind of stuff. And, and they are in there, but then they're tied up with all this red tape and all this kind of stuff, and there's big pharma and all that kind of stuff, this motivation to continue drugging people. You've got to get yourself someone good who can help you work through that stuff from the past, work through that pain, work through that hurt, and guide you someone who's been there for I've been there before and there are many therapists and people who've been there before through that pain and hurt and guide you through to the other side it, 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 you know it's definitely you can do it yourself you can read all the books and that but it just takes time you can take take years you know someone like me can take you through the process in, in just a few months yeah because I can guide you I know I know the points to go yeah because I've been there so you can do that yourself that that's the process of healing so again with medication yes it has it's it is awesome short term if you need that but long term as a crutch, it's it's just as bad as as illicit drugs or anything like that. It just creates a crutch and a dependency and side effects in your life. So go awesome, be awesome. This is Roger from the Healing Warrior Program. You can heal your life now. Have an awesome day.